The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Against Barack Obama in his first U.S. Senate race back in 2004, former presidential candidate Alan Keyes, who joins us now. Alan, great to see you again. Thanks for coming in. So are you persuaded at all by the evidence that's been presented so far? Well, that's an unimportant question. It doesn't matter whether I'm persuaded or not persuaded. If you go to my website, I think I made a pretty cogent argument uh, that I believe is the best argument for the fact that uh, the natural born citizen requirement may in fact be satisfied by Barack Obama. But it's not Alan Keyes' opinion that matters. First of all, it's not about some American tradition. It's about the Constitution of the United States, which has a clear and explicit requirement that in order to be eligible for the presidency, you have to be a natural born citizen. That doesn't, by the way, mean the same thing as citizen. Natural born citizen is yes. a different standard and it has never been addressed by the courts or anyone else exactly what it means. Now an issue has come up. The birth certificate's only part of it. The other part of it is a determination that is required under law to make this, uh, whether or not, as is clear from some parts of the record of the Constitutional mm -hmm. Convention, the debate over the 14th Amendment, uh, where it was clear that there were some, maybe even most, who thought that natural born meant two parents not just one, who were American citizens. That question needs to be addressed authoritatively, uh, and it can't just be brushed aside on the basis of the outcome of an election, because the Constitution trumps elections. It is what governs elections and presidents and yes. Supreme Courts and legislatures. And I think that's why the American people are concerned, because to brush this aside shows contempt for their sovereignty, since they're the ones who speak the words of the Constitution. And if it's not regarded with uh, a, a proper respect, uh, then it means they're the ones being overthrown as the sovereign well, people and of America. Well, and frankly, I think you put your finger on something here because this president has shown, in my eyes, anyway, the ways a lot of the eyes of a lot of folks out there, a lot of contempt for things that were established, not only in the Constitution itself, which is bad enough, but also in in common law practices, issues about private property, what he did with the GM bondholders, etc. So there are some serious issues. It leads to suspicions that if you violate some rules, you may violate other rules. However, there are some people who were were kind of stuck on the on the issue of whether or not he was born here in the United States, who have changed their mind based on evidence that's been presented recently. And this happened uh, with Michelle Bachman this morning. She was on ABC. Uh, let's just play the tape. I want to get your reaction to it, Al. I have the president's certificate right here. It's certified. It's got a certification number. It's got the registrar of the state signed. It's got a seal on it. And it says this copy serves as prima facie evidence of the fact of birth in any court proceeding. Well, then that should settle it. That, so it's over. That, that's what should settle it. So for Michelle Bachman, it's over. Is it for you? Of course not, uh, because in the course of this discussion, I thought it would be easily answered. You'd go to court, you'd present the best evidence, they'd look over the evidence, they'd hear the arguments as to the law, because there's an issue of law as well as an issue of fact. And then a determination would be made based on reasonable common sense, it would have been over with. Should have been over with many, many months ago. And it really doesn't matter which way the decision goes, so long as it goes in a direction that respects the Constitution and is reasonably seen to do so. Instead, we've been dithering about, trying to pretend. People even sent out letters from the Congress uh, that said, well, the election decided it, therefore we mm -hmm. don't have to look at this. Elections do not decide constitutional questions because the That's conduct true. of elections must be constrained by constitutional provisions. And, and so I think the American people simply want to see the Constitution respected, want them to go through the steps that are required to look at all the evidence and the arguments and come to an authoritative judgment, not one that's all piecemeal, where judges say it's been twittered about, or politicians declaim, or celebrity figures like Trump come out. That is not suitable for a process that deals with an office as important and a document as critical I, to the I, future I agree of the with you 100% on that, Alan. However, however, we have authorities other than the court system to not necessarily adjudicate, but at least to look at evidence, to examine evidence. We have private institutions like the Annenberg Public Policy Center, and they actually, I know, you're, uh, hear me out, I see you shaking your head, but they have seen the birth certificate, they have held it, they have photographed it, they have seen that, in fact, it has a raised seal. There were some questions about whether the, the actual seal of the state was, was real or not. They have 
authenticated in their minds that it's real, etc. They are basically, Annenberg uh, Center is basically a straight, straight arrow center. Uh, what do you no, think I'm, of I'm their sorry. evidence? Do you, do you put no, that, any faith true. in their the, evidence at all? First of all, if you look at the background, the Annenberg Center has been a supporter of Obama and the Obama faction from way back, uh, including foundation work where he was involved with them and so forth. That's not anything. Uh, but in any case, a private judgment does not constitute a public authority. Uh, that's why we elect people. That's why we have courts. That's why when issues are raised as to public authority, and the Constitution mm -hmm. is the highest authority, an authoritative judgment is required. What's happening here is the pretense that somehow or another we can treat the Constitution cavalierly. Uh, and that means that we are overthrowing the government of well, bias who for would the people you, that it Who would you like to say? What would be the procedure that should be put in place right now to decide this issue? Well, I don't understand why we're acting as if we don't live in a country where that procedure or some procedures have been clear all along. When folks like myself went to court, the judges said, uh, you don't have, to some of them, not to me in particular, but you don't have standing. As if citizens of the United States, members of the sovereign body of the people, do not have the right to seek respect for the Constitution spoken in their voice. Okay, but it Alan, I, I need you to be specific. We don't have much result. time, but I just need you to answer the question. What, what should the steps be now to be taken to, to authenticate whether or not the president was born here? The first simple step would be through the usual process that we do it in the court. Let the evidence be forthcoming. Let it be examined. Let the witnesses come forward, whether from the Annenberg mm -hmm. uh, Foundation or wherever, and be cross-examined so mm -hmm. that you can test what they're talking about. That's the way we usually do it. Not in this cavalier fashion as if talking heads and private foundations with partisan background are, are to a substitute for the proper process, which includes an ability of people to come forward, ask questions through their lawyers and advocates. That's how we establish it in this country. By the way, Not we, playing we, games like this. Uh, we, we, we are going to be talking in a moment with a panel about all this, but Donald Trump and what he is doing, he of course has private investigators he sent out uh, to look into any of this. Do you have any information at all about uh, more evidence that has been dug up either by, by him and his private investigators or by others? Well, step number one, I don't have any such information, okay. uh, and I would certainly be interested to see it because I think it's critical to the integrity of the Constitution. And second, it still does not deal with the matter of law. The issue of what constitutes a natural-born citizen has never been addressed. This case actually puts it on the table, and it needs to be addressed for future generations so that this doesn't keep coming up. Alan, The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.